Streaming on Mac has come a long way compared to me a few years ago, but nevertheless, Windows still dominates the streaming market. When it comes to chatbots, voice mod, and all the other features and functions, Mac just doesn't stand a chance. So if you're like me and you want to stream on Windows using your Mac hardware, there are two options, Parallels and Bootcamp. I've tried both, so let's see how they stack up. So first, let's quickly explain the difference between Parallels and Bootcamp. First, Parallels actually runs Windows within a virtual machine of your computer. So funnily enough, it actually runs Windows within a window in your Mac and lets you easily swap between the two OSs at any time. However, as it is an application, you do have to buy a license for Parallels and then you still have to buy a license for Windows. Yes, you can kind of run Windows without any license, but I'm not quite sure when that stops and when that ends and if it has any other issues within it. So to be safe, it always is best just to buy that Windows license as well. Bootcamp, on the other hand, partitions your hard drive, which means it divides your hard drive. You can select how much storage you want to give to Mac and to Windows, and then essentially just runs Windows in your Mac as if it's any other piece of hardware. While this means to swap between Windows and Mac, you do need to reset your computer. You don't need to pay any additional licensing like Parallels. You just have to buy a once-off Windows license. But then additionally for context, I'm using a 2019 MacBook Pro. I basically bought the highest tier available. Uh, the only difference is the storage. I got the 500 gigabyte version while there is a one terabyte version. I first tried Parallels as I did easily want to switch between Mac and Windows. So for example, if I was creating something in Illustrator or After Effects, I could easily create it, export it, and then just drag and drop the file over to Windows and OBS. And yes, while I could download Illustrator and After Effects on Windows, I'm much more comfortable on Mac and I could get that work done that much quicker. Unfortunately, I already used up my Parallels free trial, um, but to get everything set up was super easy, super user-friendly as most applications on Mac are. I first started by setting up MixItUp, as MixItUp was one of the reasons why I wanted to stream on Windows. I wanted that bit more control and a bit more complexity within Chatbot. After I had MixItUp all set up, then I started moving all my scenes and all my profiles over from my Mac setup to my Windows setup within OBS. And to be honest, that was a pretty smooth experience. I'll give it to OBS that you can kind of package everything up, export it and just re-import it. So while I had no issues in setting up Mix It Up and migrating everything from Mac OBS to Windows OBS, the next thing I did, which probably should have been the first thing I did, is set up all the equipment. So plugging in all my microphones, my webcams, and my capture cards. Blue Yeti microphone, didn't have any issues. Logitech webcam, didn't have any issues. The Elgato capture card, however, had a pretty big roadblock. What it looked like was that Parallels was running into issues in terms of how much data it could feed through all the USB ports. So what was happening is when I was plugging in the capture card, the game video and audio would be there for a second and then it would just go black and go mute. So even if I unplugged it, plugged it back in, it would only really work for a second and then stop essentially making it unusable. To try and solve the problem, I did try to go in parallel settings and give it as much use as possible, putting the slider to full performance mode rather than battery power saving mode, but it still didn't fix the issue. And look, as I did mention, I did actually have to buy parallels. But they do advertise a free 30 day money back guarantee, which let's be honest, can be difficult at the best of times. But look, I'll give credit where credit's due. While it's a little bit difficult to get in touch with their support team, once I did connect with them, they gave me a refund without a hassle. So since Parallels is out of the way, next I tried Bootcamp. And I don't know why, but in my head, I thought Bootcamp was gonna be much more difficult to set up, but it was really easy and intuitive. I just had to download that one ISO file from Windows, and then it was just the program with a couple of clicks of a button, split up the drive, and then it was installed. So once I got Bootcamp all set up, I did wait to buy the Windows license till a bit more settled in this time. I did run into a couple of issues which I did find solutions for, but were issues nonetheless. The first issue I was facing was actually with the Wi-Fi. A few streams in, I started noticing that after the first hour of stream, every 10 minutes or so, the stream would just drop. At first, I thought it was a network problem, so I actually contacted my internet service provider, and there was nothing from there. And, and additionally, this wasn't happening at all on Mac. After a bit of Googling, I did find out that it was a semi-common problem. Um, and the solution for it was to change some drop-down setting within the driver options. But for some unknown reason, I didn't have that drop-down within my settings. So the way I actually fixed it was I specifically installed a wrong driver, then uninstalled it, and then the setting was there. Look, if you asked me to say, hey, how did you fix it? I wouldn't be able to tell you but that's the overall gist of what happened. I did something wrong to then fix the problem. I don't know why, but it worked. And look, if I could plug the Mac into ethernet, I don't think I would have faced this problem, but unfortunately due to the layout of our place, it's not really possible to get that wiring coming through to the office. 
The second issue I faced with bootcamp didn't actually happen until about two to three months into using it. One day I turned it on and it blue screened. I don't know why this happened. I tried to turn it off and restart it and it didn't fix the problem. But I did find out after some Googling that it was due to a Bluetooth driver. Now to fix this, what I had to do was actually turn on the computer in network safe mode. I think that's what it's called, but it means that when you turn it on in safe mode, it also disables all the Wi-Fi cards, and all the Bluetooth cards and everything. And I actually had to force disable Bluetooth. So when I turned it back on that Bluetooth wouldn't turn on and it works and it still works now, but I don't know what triggered it. I did try to go through the driver history to see if there was a Bluetooth update, but there was none there. When I did do some Googling, I did find out that this was a semi-common problem. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, having Bluetooth just disabled now isn't too much of a problem for me, to be honest. Uh, all my wireless stuff is all dongle connected with all the Logitech stuff, or it's all wired, but it is something out there that you could face that could be quite detrimental to your setup. Look, apart from that, everything else seemed to work fine. All the USB speed transmission issues that were present on Parallels weren't there on Bootcamp. So it makes me think that it's actually a Parallels issue rather than a my computer's not powerful enough issue. Apart from that, it's all just the basic learning curves of using Mix It Up, Voice Meter, OBS, and all that jazz. God, Voice Meter is so hard to use. It's just so user unfriendly. It's just <laughs> such a poorly designed software from a UI perspective that it hurts for me to look at. To combat the easy switching of OS's that's present with Parallels, I do now heavily use Google Drive as like my cloud storage solution. So if I was asked the question, Parallels or Bootcamp, I would say Bootcamp, but there's a new issue now that are in 2022 with the new range of Apple devices. It's that all the Apple devices that run an Apple chip can't run Bootcamp. Bootcamp only works on all the Apple Macs that have Intel chips within them. And the 2019 MacBook Pro, which I have, is the last MacBook Pro to include an Intel chip. All the new iMacs, MacBooks, and MacBook Pros all come with Apple chips. So hopefully Parallels can fix this problem. Otherwise streaming with Windows on a Mac is gonna very quickly become an option of the past, or we're gonna to have to be shopping on eBay for old refurbished models of maybe this 2019 MacBook Pro.